All right, so let's head on down and decide how you'd like to get paid. It's already filled in for you. Just double check to make sure that they've got the right address there. So we're going to offer free shipping, but I want to show you how to do shipping anyhow, just uh, okay. in case you get into it in the future. It says, I want the shipping wizard to help me select the services and calculate the costs, or I want to decide cost and which services to use. I want you to choose the bottom there and go. You want all those checks? Yeah. Okay. Uh, not okay. necessarily that you're going to use them today, but that okay. you might want to use them in the future. Okay. Now, again, if you find that what you are seeking is not here, let's say you decide you want to start selling international and there's no international showing, you see mm -hmm. where it says give buyers shipping details, add or remove options, you would click on that and there's a button saying allow international shipping. So if, when you get to this form and it's not showing you what you want, always look for the nearest add or remove options and it's hidden back there because uh, eBay thinks if you don't use it all that often you don't want it on the form junking up your form. So for today we're going to click free shipping but I want to explain these two things to you before we click free shipping. You see there's a drop down box there that says flat same cost to all buyers. If you mm -hmm. drop that down there's also calculated based on buyer location, freight, or no shipping local pickup. I want you to pick calculated. Now, before you list an item on eBay, now this is a DVD. We know exactly how much it's going to cost for shipping. In fact, we're going to offer free shipping. But that's not the case in most, uh, for most items. So what you want to do is when you're about to list an item or before you're listing an item is that you want to figure out what size box this item's going to go into and how much it weighs. Mm -hmm. Wrap it up like you were going to ship it and see what box it takes. And then you would put the dimensions into this package dimensions. Let's say the dimensions were 12 by 12 by 12. Just type that in. And then we could put the weight down below. Yeah, if you wanted to show that, drop that down. You can see what kind of packages? Letter, package, oh. uh, package or thick envelope or a large package. And if you're confused about that, you can use the shipping wizard to tell you which one it is. But most okay. stuff is going to be a regular package or thick envelope. Okay. Custom weight is a little bit confusing. If you drop that down, there's the weight. So, you know. So then you would put in the uh, the ounces. Oh, I have to do both. Well, if it's one pound or less, they want to know how many ounces it is. But if it was, let's say it was a five pound item with a box, it's probably five to six pounds. Um, then we would go to pick the services we want to have, we're going to ship this by. Probably for your CD, we would mail it media mail. Okay, it, maybe uh, we wanted to offer more than media mail. You know, maybe our buyers, if we were, if it wasn't free shipping, you know, our buyers might be willing to pay more for uh, faster shipping. So you mm -hmm. can see where it says offer additional services. Mm -hmm. We can offer more than one service. So we could click on that and offer first class. Can you only do two? You can do up to three. Oh, but so, but you have to pick them one at a time. You can't hold down the control key and pick all three in one step. Not to my knowledge. I've never tried it that Not, way. So, first class. Okay. So that's calculated. Um, okay. And that's how you would do calculated shipping. And, and to stay out of trouble, that's probably going to be what you're going to want to use most of the time as a seller. If you're selling something you know the value of uh, where it's going to ship, you can use the other option. And I want you to go back to that, and it's called flat rate shipping. So you go back up to where it says shipping. And this, we could pick the service that we're going to use. What I would do generally is, uh, where you know, you know you're going to ship this 
probably first class, yeah. So you'd pick first class, and then you could put in the price, $3. And there you go. And that's flat rate. No matter what part of the country it is, that's what it's going to ship for, for a flat cost. And you can see okay. um, that can get you into trouble if you don't know that $3 is going to cover that CD or those CDs throughout the United States because the post office charges per ounce or per pound per zone. And there's several zones depending on how far away you are in the country and your buyer yeah. is. So you do have to be fairly comfortable with using flat rate um, when you're offering it or you can end up losing money. We're going to override that today and we're just going to click free shipping. But I did want to, uh, people to see that that option. Yeah, I appreciate that because you know, I may be listing other types of products in the future and I'll need to know. I that. know that you're going to be so excited about selling on eBay. <laughs> you're going to be selling everything in your house. So I want you to, <laughs> I want you to be able to. The next thing we want to do is select a handling time. Generally, the sooner you can get it out, the better. This is the internet and people want things yesterday. So I, I tend to use, do one or two business days for all my products, and I do ship the next day. But if you're making a custom-designed thing um, that is specifically for somebody, it might take a little bit longer, and that's why they have the, the 20, 15, 20, and 30 business days. Now, if you're pre-selling an item, you have to know that you're getting the item within 30 days. You can't go beyond 30 days to pre-sell on eBay. Okay. That's what the handling time's all about. Okay. Oh, well, I want you to double check to make sure your zip code and item location is correct. And this is how they cal do the calculated shipping. And this is a little bit confusing for a lot of people. What eBay does is they work with the post office or the UPS, and they calculate shipping. They, they base it on your zip code as a seller and the buyer's zip code when they log into eBay and how many zones and how much weight it is. So everybody sees a different shipping weight when you use calculated shipping. So if you set up a calculated shipping item and then you went to review that item, the shipping amount would be very cheap. It would look very different than if I looked at your item when I was logged in in Seattle because there were several zones away from each other. eBay does that with a cookie when you log into your computer, and it does all those calculations in the background. And I know that's really confusing to a lot of people, but you got to just trust eBay that they're doing that for you. Okay, I see that there's a, a choice there to change location, and maybe that's the answer to the question I have. What if I'm located here in Indianapolis, yet my item is going to ship from a different location. Do, can I do that? You could absolutely do that. So you could change that to Washington. Okay, is that what that choice is for? Yeah, then? but don't forget to change okay. it back. And that, that is extremely important with calculated shipping, not so much with free or flat rate shipping. Flat but rate. for calculated, that would make a big difference.